Well, don't you look good? Ruth, you be having it looking authentic. She's the best in the whole business. Ruth Carter doing the costumes. Coming to work today is like I'm going into a time warp. She has a way of completely transporting you. This is a big endeavor. We dress every single person that you see on screen. People on dates, people coming in, pimps, hoes, you name it. <laughs> We had to make Rudy stand apart from everyone else and still be in the 70s. Mr. Rudy Ray Moore! We bridged the gap with leisure suits. We made suits out of patterns. We used a lot of texture. So not only would he have the 70s look, but he would have his own 70s look. Dolomite! What y'all think it is? I was like, wow, she did not hold back. It's a little bit louder, a little bit brighter. Come on down, check me out. Give it up for Queen Bee. We really wanted to give Lady Reed an arc. We see her in the beginning in a house dress where she finds her husband cheating on her at the club. Damn. And then with Rudy Ray Moore, she becomes a queen. Full figured, in bright colors, well fit, ready to be on stage. You think you could just walk up here and hide me? No. With Wesley, we wanted to make sure that Dorval's look always had something self-conscious about it. He wears this patchwork hat that matches the jeans. You know, we see him in these combinations that are all kind of custom made. Can you imagine these people dressed like flowers or like a botanical garden? But they were broke, but they look good. The guys love the 70s clothes. The polyester could have a real comeback after this. That's a mo business bond. Insecure. Oh, God. Mother.